I'm going to talk about a question type called sentence completion. With this type of task, you need to fill in a gap in a sentence with words containing important points from the listening text. The gap could be at the start, middle or end of the sentence. And it's important that you keep within a word limit. This type of question can appear in any of the four sections of the listening test. Let's look at an example of a sentence completion question. As you can see, questions 21 and 22 are sentences which have gaps here. These are examples of sentence completion with gaps in the middle of the sentence. The instructions here will tell you how many words or numbers you need to write. So in this example, you're limited to no more than two words. There are a few very important things to remember when you do this type of question. First of all, you need to write down the missing word or missing words in exactly the same form as you hear them. You should not change the words in any way. Also, the sentences on the question paper are a paraphrased form of what you hear in the recording. That is, you will hear different words in the recording to what you see on the page, but their meaning will be the same. Remember as well that like all the other sections of the IELTS test, it's important to spell answers correctly. Let's talk about how to approach this task. First of all, before you listen, read the instructions carefully to see how many words or numbers you need to write in the answer. Then, highlight the key words in the sentences and think of similar words, synonyms, that you might hear in the recording. You should also think about the type of word that might complete each gap. For example, could the missing word be a time, or maybe an amount? Could it be a noun, or an adjective perhaps? Then, listen for the synonyms of the written sentence keywords that you have thought of. These will help you find the answer. When you think you have the answer, write it in the gap with the correct spelling. Later in the test, of course, you'll need to transfer this to the answer sheet, but it will help you later if you get it correct now. Another important step which you should do after listening is to read the complete sentence to make sure it's grammatically correct. But what if you see that your completed sentence is not grammatically correct? Well, you may have made a mistake for one of the following reasons. The first reason could be that you've not heard the correct form of the word. As you can see in this example, you think you heard table in the recording, but the speaker actually said tables, which is the plural form of table. So this answer cannot be correct. Remember that only the form of the word that is used in the recording can be used. Another reason that your answer might be wrong is because you've chosen the wrong word from the listening. For example, if the words furniture and tables were used by the speaker and you chose furniture, then this answer is wrong because in this sentence, it's grammatically incorrect. That is, furniture is an uncountable noun and so it doesn't fit the gap. As you've seen, grammar is particularly important in this question type, so by being careful about your grammar, you can improve your chances of getting a higher score. Now take some time to review the written summary of how to do this task.